Welcome back to What You Get For The Money. What our next homeowners like best about Trenton, New Jersey is the strength of its neighborhoods. They like it so well, in fact, that the couple has lived in the same house for 20 years and they're not planning on leaving anytime soon. Thanks to its proximity to larger cities, you could almost consider New Jersey's state capital of Trenton a commuter town. Trenton is actually a really small city, uh, very centrally located in New Jersey, easy to get up to New York, down to Philadelphia, or over to the shore. As an example, take Kelly Ingram, a decorative painter, and her husband Ray, a consultant, and their neighborhood of Cadwalder Heights. One of Trenton's oldest neighborhoods, it centers around the 100-acre Cadwalder Park. We love being so close to the park and the canal along the Delaware because we can just get up and take the dogs around the park. We actually ride our bicycles as well. It's a great place to be. We've been here 20 years and uh, we're staying. It's hard to believe Kelly and Ray are less than five minutes from Trenton's downtown. We're just several minutes from the, the inner city and the you know, cities are busy and noisy, but back here it can be very, very quiet on a Sunday morning. And yet, Trenton's median home price is only a third of the rest of New Jersey's. I think the housing market's very affordable in Trenton. You get quite a bit for your money. That's what attracted us to this neighborhood initially. And when Ray and Kelly started looking for their first home 20 years ago, the price tag on their five-bedroom, three-and-a-half-bath Georgian Colonial was unbelievable. $140,000. One of the things that we loved about the house when we first saw it was all of the, the leaded glass and the entranceway to the house. The minute we walked in, I, there was just something that was very positive. There was a very positive energy here. The home's welcoming feel is partly due to the main floor's layout. You've got a central hallway, but you walk straight into a dining room, into a kitchen. So when everything's open, you've got this, these huge flows that can occur. Plus, both Ray and Kelly work from home. Ray runs his consulting business from his first floor office, while Kelly can be found doing her decorative painting, well, just about anywhere. We use this house every room. I mean, there's not a room that doesn't get used to its fullest capacity. And with over 3,000 square feet, there's plenty of room for her to get creative. As a decorative painter, I am constantly seeing new ideas and new trends, so I am I, I switch things around a lot and come up with new finishes. It's not the first time Kelly's tried out new ideas at home. Fifteen years ago when we decided to do the kitchen, uh, we chose the granite, which back then really was not a popular finish. And now I'm trying to think about what I can do next. The kitchen was the only area where Kelly and Ray changed the home's original footprint. The kitchen was just so small and so everybody gravitates to where the food is getting prepared so we'd end up with 20 people in the kitchen that was 8 square feet. So they knocked down a few walls and the old mudroom and butler's pantry became part of their spacious new kitchen. So that now when I'm late at preparing people actually have somewhere to sit and this is just a great area to serve buffet from and things like that. Plus, guests can always go outside to enjoy Kelly's perennial garden. We use the backyard uh, for entertaining quite a bit. Early morning, it is just so peaceful and really beautiful. Whether they're entertaining friends, doing business, or having a quiet morning over coffee, Kelly and Ray found that their historic home was flexible enough to meet all their needs. It's treated us really well. I mean, we've had wonderful times here together and with our friends and family and there's just a really lot of good feeling. It's a happy house. There's no better place to go bargain hunting than Trenton, New Jersey, where 500 grand can get you a 3,000 square foot Georgian colonial with five bedrooms, three and a half baths, a fully renovated kitchen and room for two home businesses on the edge of over a hundred acres of green. It's a well used house and we really enjoy it. Thanks to suburban growth into New Jersey, Trenton is now included in the expanse known as the New York City metropolitan area. But with an average home price in Trenton of just $92,000, housing costs are a fraction of the Big Apple.